My name's Hoju Sara. I'm a YouTuber and I'm here today in Korea at the Korea Metaverse Festival and K Metaverse Expo 2021. This expo has everything from VR, AR, 360 degree immersive gameplays. These days, Metaverse is a very, very hot keyword in Korea. So, shall we check out what's going on today? I've come here with my boyfriend, so I think we'll have a lot of fun playing some games. This event is also sponsored by the Ministry of Science and ICT, as well as the National IT Industry Promotion Agency. So it's going to be a lot of IT, a lot of science, and a lot of fun. So should we check it out? Let's go! Korea Telecom, a representative telecommunication company in Korea, introduced a metaverse service based on XR, extended reality, and AI motion recognition. KT RealCube are educational screen sports that help brain and body development by combining MR, mixed reality, technology, and sports. When you touch the beam projected on screen with a long styrofoam stick, the sensor attached to the screen detects the motion and reflects it in the results. KT RealPop is dance content. When you dance to the dance moves that appear on the screen, it recognizes these movements and provides AI evaluation results, such as exercise amount and calories burned. You can also check out the video of yourself dancing again. In the KMF 2021, 158 domestic and foreign companies participated in the event and introduced the metaverse along with XR platforms, services, contents, software, devices and more fused with various industries such as manufacturing, medical care, education, defence and entertainment. Two Hands Interactive gained popularity by introducing the AR-based, non-contact indoor exercise platform DIDIM. It is implemented so that anyone can exercise easily using a virtual mat made on the floor. With more than 50 types of content that can be enjoyed from children to seniors, it is characterized by being able to be used for various purposes such as growth exercise, physical training and dementia prevention. At the opening ceremony, Jay Black's eye-catching performance under the themes of communication, realistic content and youth, which are the main keywords of the KMF 2021, was prepared with XRFX and performed with the Meta Universe. 과학기술정보통신부 이차관 조경식입니다. 오늘 어, 행사 개최를 진심으로 축하드리며 오늘 오신 분들께 감사드립니다. 안녕하십니까 정보통신산업진흥원장 김창룡입니다. 저희 나이파가 하는 메타버스 관련 사업에 많은 격려 부탁드립니다. Chongnam Information Culture Technology Agency held an XR Metaverse Experience event. XR is a technology that encompasses AR, augmented reality, VR, virtual reality, and MR, mixed reality. It felt like it was real life. At the booth at Motion Technology, I experienced a VR game called Black Badge with my boyfriend. Existing VR games had difficulties in spreading to the public due to the high price of devices. Motion Technology is trying to popularise VR games by redeveloping games to match relatively inexpensive devices such as Oculus. So what did you think of the festival? My favourite one was definitely the game behind me, where you put the VR mask on and you're shooting everything. It was definitely very scary. I thought I was going to fall off the platform at one point, but luckily it's VR, so I didn't. 
that or the beat game where you have to jump over because that is such a workout, but it's so fun. I highly recommend it if you get the chance. But anyway, if there's anything that you want to know more about in today's video, make sure you check out the description box below because all the information's in there. So until now, this was Hojusara. See you next time. Bye.